Today I'm going to show the thermal decomposition of copper carbonate. Now, copper carbonate is a green compound. See the pale green color. And what I'm going to do is take a small amount of this copper carbonate in a boiling tube. And I'm going to heat it gently in a small blue Bunsen flame. So gentle heat, not strong heating. And while I'm doing the heating, I'm going to pass any gas that may form into lime water. Hold my boiling tube with a test tube holder, like so. So I'm going to heat it gently and pass the any gas formed into the lime water. Okay. Pay attention to any color change or any other thing, anything else you can observe in the reaction. Here we go. The first few bubbles that come out of the tube are not gas being produced, it's just expansion of the air inside the tube. And quickly you can see that my copper carbonate is changing color. It's going from a light green color to a dark black color. And now I've got quite a strong bubbling through into the lime water. You can also see some condensation at the top of the tube. That shows maybe water coming out of the copper carbonate. So it's hydrated copper carbonate. And also now you can see my lime water is going milky. So it's a very, very low heat required for this thermal decomposition. Much lower than when we did calcium carbonate and there we are now when you stop this reaction it's very important you first of all take the tube out of the lime water keep on heating and then stop heating if you do it in the other uh, way of, of removing it from the heat if you don't take the tube out and then you stop heating, what will happen is the, the gas inside the tube will cool down and the water will get sucked back up into the tube and into this hot glass and it might shatter the glass. So that's very dangerous, very important you don't do that. That is the heating of copper carbonate. There we are, there's my black copper oxide and carbon dioxide form turns lime water milk. 